And let me from the onset apologize to you, your family, and your staff for the sickening, breathtakingly xenophobic political theater that has occurred at this hearing, which has included attacking your family. I know that your family is profoundly proud of you and your service to our nation. Strike those words. Unfortunately, for some of my colleagues, the general, the general there accuses us generally of, of making xenophobic Mr. remarks. Mr. Chairman, nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that? Nope. Mr. Roy, can you stop eating into my time, please? I did not do that to you. Have some respect I'm not eating for me. I'm, I'm, I'm making a point of order. We're eating her. The, the, uh, the gentlelady will continue. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Secretary Mayorkas, unfortunately, for some of my colleagues, there is no bottom. But these are the same people who praised Donald Trump's immigration strategy, which included separating small children from the arms of their mother. I'd like to enter into the record the article from Axios, House Republicans Plot to Impeach Mayorkas, and the April 25, 2022 letter uh, addressed to Mr. Mayorkas outlining that plot. I hope, uh, I ask unanimous consent to enter into the record. Mr. Chairman? Without objection. Thank you. I hope the American people are watching this, and to those who are, let it be absolutely clear that the majority of my Republican colleagues are showing you, the American people, that they're not interested in addressing our country's challenges. Their goal is instead to feed our nation a regular diet of hate and rage because that's what they believe will win them elections. I hope Americans are as sickened by this as I am. I hope members of their party with integrity and decency will rebuke their colleagues for the way they've degraded this body and themselves today. I am the only member of this committee who represents a border district, the only one born and raised in a border district, the only one who's chosen to stay and live and raise my children in a beautiful, vibrant border district. What we are seeing at, a, at the border today is a challenge that began decades ago, but has been neglected by Congress after Congress. It should be no surprise that the situation has grown only more challenging as a result of inaction. And much of what has suddenly outraged my Republican colleagues has been going on for years, in, including during the Trump era. We talk about root causes of migration. There's one we don't talk about enough, and that's Congress's inaction. Immigration reform, which hasn't happened in decades, won't eliminate migration, but it sure would help alleviate the pressure. So why won't my Republican colleagues work with us on it? To quote the ranking member of this committee, Jim Jordan, from his opening remarks, quote, it's intentional, it's by design. They don't want things to change. Uh, Secretary Mayorkas, I'm gonna ask you just a few questions, if you could just please, yes or no. Secretary Mayorkas, in your time as the Secretary of Homeland Security, have any of my Republican colleagues on this committee asked you for your thoughts on how we can best address the challenges at the border? Not to my recollection, Congresswoman. Secretary Mayorkas, my Republican colleagues believe that dealing with migration should happen at the border with walls and rapid expulsion. Have hundreds of miles of border wall or two and a half years of Title 42 slowed, deterred, or eliminated migration? Uh, Congresswoman, it's very difficult with respect to the, um, uh, to the wall. Of course, we've seen an increase. Well, let me ask you this. Has it, has it eliminate, eliminated migration? It, it has not. Did Donald Trump end migration? Uh, he, um, he did not, Congresswoman. So their strategy hasn't worked. We've tried their strategy. In fact, we have focused fundamentally, singularly on their strategy for decades. Their strategy is don't reform outdated immigration laws and only deter at the border. Hasn't worked. They've called it a failure. If Congress did its job and legislated, Mr. Secretary, do you think that would help the situation at the border? That is our best chance for an enduring solution, Congresswoman. Thank you, Secretary Mayorkas. I would tell, again, the American public that Congress it's, is not doing its job, loves to point the finger, loves to shirk from its responsibility. House Democrats have delivered bill after bill only to see our Republican colleagues 
vote against them. One last thing, um, Secretary Mayorkas, Governor Abbott has engaged in all sorts of antics that have shut down the border and that have led to four deaths by suicide of service members um, who are at Operation Lone Star. Has that uh, stopped migration or made our border more secure? Congresswoman, it has not. One final thing, actually, uh, would the love to work with the you. The gentlelady's time is expired. On reforming the, the gentlelady's personnel. time is expired. Staffing uh, model. Thank you. The purpose of the, Mr.